This little basket will brighten your day and put a smile on your face. Pull from your fabric stash for a brightly colored Easter basket this year. With the price of real eggs, plastic grass, and the works, here is a winning alternative using scraps and strips of material. Might even be free to you. Seamstress Sandra Workman is bringing us Easter basket fillers from your fabric collection. It's great to see you. Thank you. Good to be here. Great to have you. And I love the idea of using those lovely bits of fabric, mm -hmm. the patterns and the colors that we are obsessed with and want to right. use more of. You're pulling that in this year for Easter. I am. So our, you know, quilters and sewers, we have always got extra fabric you sitting got around. Stuff. We got stuff. <laughs> we like our stuff. So let's start with these eggs. How okay. did you make them? So these are little fabric eggs. Um, that we've made and all it's so simple to do you just trace your pattern onto your fabric okay now this looks like this dark blue but this is a um that'll be a problem but it when you iron it it disappears so i've traced it on cut out my little shapes uh -huh. we just need four of these little wedges for each and they're egg. kind of a petal shape or a yeah, teardrop they're shape. just like a little teardrop shape mm -hmm. and so you've got your four of those you're going to sew them together in pairs mm -hmm. And on this one, you're gonna leave a little opening. I've sewed with red thread just so you could see it. Okay. Um, and then once you've got your two pairs put together, uh -huh. you're just gonna join those. Oh, I see they come together. They come together. For the full egg sphere. Yep. You just sew all the way around and then you've got an opening. To stuff. To, to turn it right side out and to stuff. So that's what it looks like before you stuff it. Look at this. Oh, you even done some. So um, I just did two different fabrics on yeah, that one. Yeah, some complementing fabrics there on either side. That and is so cute. After you've stuffed it with your um, little batting, all you've got is just a little tiny hole that you just hand stitch hand close. Hand stitch up. Look at this too. And that's the little they got. size. Yeah. I love that. Does this come in different colors too? Um, this is just a fabric I had in my stash. Oh, that was, that was a scrap. <laughs> that was Proof, a scrap. Proof in the project. This is what we're doing. I love yeah. that Swiss dot. But the texture, so, I mean, what mm -hmm. you see here is the texture you can bring to a basket or a, a home decor piece. And you played with some fun pattern combinations yeah. too. And so I've used scraps or this one here has my grandma's hanky. Oh. That had some embroidery on it, and so I cut it oh, Sandra, and made a little egg that. out of that. Yes, so if you've got those linens, those mm -hmm. vintage linens or those yeah. treasured linens that are just sitting there in a drawer, exactly. pull them out and make them part of your Easter decor. Yeah, I love that. So and under a cloche, how pretty. Uh -huh. Yeah, how pretty. And so we've got our little fabric Easter grass in there as well. Yeah, tell me how you did that. Let me show you. So, so how we got started doing this was we cut fat quarters at the store, yeah, yeah. if you don't know what a fat quarter is. It's just a quarter yard of fabric, but instead of being long and skinny, it's fat. Mm -hmm. So, and we cut the fold off every time we cut these fat quarters and we cut them all day long. Yeah. And we'd have all these little bits of fabric. And so we decided to start using them as just like bowl filler. I love it. And Easter grass. So, I love it. So we always have those in the shop. Um, but if you don't have your little... Yeah, your, your own orders. stash. Or you, if you maybe want to coordinate. I, uh -huh. I mean, you don't see a ton of the, the detail of the pattern, but if you're going for right. a color scheme. Yeah, and so all I've done is I've just folded my fabric, and you can do multiple layers when mm -hmm. you're using your rotary cutter. Mm -hmm. And I'm just cutting, if, I'm, if I've got a fold, I'm just cutting like a quarter inch. Okay. Okay. Now these don't aren't folded, so it's going to have a little bit of a different feel. So that one I might want to go a little bit bigger. Uh huh. And you can just sit and cut this, and cut. This would be the most mindless, satisfying it's task. It's just, it is. And you then turn on Studio Five, you sit and watch Sandra as together you just and you just end up with these little. Cut. Yeah. Oh. And you can fantastic. stack your colors and just mix them up, but. And it doesn't have to be for Easter either. No. You, you could do some Americana. Sure, you said basket filler. Mm -hmm. I mean, anything yeah. that you're looking to, if you're looking to elevate a display uh -huh. or just to add that texture or color. Thank you so much. Yes. You're very two welcome. Two fun Easter projects, two easy Easter projects yeah. as well that you can use those scraps for. Where can we visit your shop? We are at Gardner Village Pine Needles. Um, and we've been there for like 27 years. So yeah. We love Gardner Village. So yeah, come on in and we've got a free pattern for them. Nice. Are they eggs? Thank you, so. where do we find that? You've got the download okay, thank that we've you. provided, so they can just download that. There's three different sizes. And thank you for that, for the eggs. Look for that link on our website, that, that download, and then we'll link you over to Pine Needle's website for, I'm sure, some fun classes. I was reminiscing yeah. with Sandra. I took a class 20 years yeah. ago, a crochet class. I bought all the things. We just moved a couple weeks ago. I'm coming face-to-face <laughs> -to -face with my hoarding self, and I found my stash. Yeah. <laughs> so we maybe all have it's that. time to pick up the needle again. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I appreciate it.